Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the clamp float node in Unreal Engine. Now before I get started, I just want to quickly say that I now have a Patreon page. So please feel free to check it out in the link below. Let's get started. So here we are in the level blueprint. And to get the clamp float node, you just right click and type clamp. And you want to choose the clamp float, this one. So this node has three inputs and one output. The first input will be the value you want to clamp. Then you have the minimum range and the maximum range values. So what this node does is it will take the value you want to clamp. It will check if it is in the range and then it will output a value. So let me show you an example. I'll change the minimum range to a value of 5 and the maximum range to a value of 10. So if the value you want to clamp is a value of 7, then it is in this range, so it will output a value of 7. But if this value is a value of uh, 12, then this is over the range. So it will output the maximum number of this range, which is 10. So you'll get an output value of 10. Now if this value is under the range, so say a value of 1, then the output will be a value of 5, because this is the minimum range. So this is basically how the clamp node works. So here I have made a example. Now this example was in the fintop2 tutorial. And basically what it did was that this cube, every time you press the up arrow key, it becomes bigger. And every time you press the down arrow key, it became smaller. But there was no limit to this. You could just keep pressing the up arrow key and it became bigger and bigger and bigger. The same goes for the down arrow key. It just became smaller with no limit. So what we want to do today is to add a limit with the clamp node. Now this code here, the up event and the down event, changes the size of the cube. And as you can see, there is no clamp node here. So let's add the clamp node. So you just right click, type clamp, choose this one here. Then connect the plus node to the value input and connect the return value to the set size. And we'll change the minimum range to a value of 1 and the maximum to a value of 5. Now we need to do the same for the minus. So we'll just select the clamp float, we'll just copy and paste. Then we just need to connect the minus node to the value input and connect the return value to the set size. And also here, in the event tick, I have added a print string node. And this will print the size value on the screen, on the left side. So you'll be able to see what the value is. So notice on the left side, there is a lot of ones. That is because the value now is a value of one. And if we press the up arrow, it becomes two, three, four, five. Ah. Interesting, I cannot make it bigger anymore. So this is the maximum value it can go to, a value of 5, because that's the value we have set in the clamp node. Now the same goes for the down arrow key. We're pressing down 4, 3, 2, 1, and we kind of make it smaller. So that's how the clamp float node works. You can use it to clamp values within a fixed range. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon in the link below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes. See you soon.